And this question is related to topic uh, four, uh, waves and standing waves. So before we solve the question, let's revise a little bit. Uh, what do we mean by standing waves? What is the difference between standing waves and the traveling waves? Now, traveling waves, if you have a stone and you throw the stone on, a surface of, uh, on the surface of water, the water will start to vibrate up and down. So these waves will travel, will, will go from one, one point to another. So this is, we call it the traveling waves. Traveling waves consist of crest and uh, troughs, the waves moves. If you're standing in water with, with a boat on water and the wave hit uh, this boat, if the wave is strong enough, it will cause this boat to move from one point to another, so it transmit it transmit uh, energy. All the particles of water is vibrating. On the other hand, standing waves, standing waves like if you have um, any musical instrument uh, that uh, 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 the rope is fixed at both end, like the uh, oud or a violin. Uh, so if you uh, um, hit the oud uh, or violent and make it uh, vibrate, you will see the wave will not move. The waves actually, if you have fixed at both uh, end, the wave will hit the boundary here and it will reflect back. So I have two waves that is created and they interfere with each uh, uh, other. So the wave itself, it doesn't trouble, it just vibrate and consist of what consist of loops and nodes loops when i have that grow and shrink okay so the the uh, grow and shrink this one we call them anti node and the one where i have no uh, displacement this point where i have no displacement we call them uh, uh, nodes Okay, like you have, like the waves uh, in a road and violin. Now, the other type of uh, waves also stand waves if you have an instrument. Uh, instrument like um, the instrument that is closed at both ends or open at both, uh, uh, at, uh, both end, like uh, clarinet, uh, saxophone, uh, passons, uh, open at uh, one end and close on one end like recorder and uh, fluid. Now, how we're going to um, uh, calculate uh, the wave length of the wave of uh, 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 wavelength uh, of the wave created here? If you have a fixed wave that is fixed at both end, here I have lambda. From here I have node and node and only one anti node. So the length from here till here is half lambda. So L equals half lambda. So here I have half lambda plus half lambda. I have one complete lambda. Here I have half lambda and half lambda. This is lambda and a half, which is three over two lambda. So if I create, I can, a formula, uh, lambda from this one, I have lambda over two, lambda over two will equal L cross multiplication. I will get lambda equals lambda equals 2L over L. So this is the formula. In, I'm counting the number of antinodes, number of antinodes. And we know frequency velocity is lambda times F. So I can find F, I can find the frequency V over lambda. So if I divide V over, this is lambda 2L over N, I will get this formula. So closed at both end, I can write formulas if I have closed at both ends or open at both end and here open at one end. The formula for lambda here is 2L over N. Frequency is V over lambda, which is V over 2L over N. N is the number of anti nodes. So N it goes from one, two, three, four, etc. This we call them harmonic, first harmonic, second harmonic, third harmonic, etc. So this is the natural frequency of a musical instrument. We call them harmonic. Similarly, for open at both end, instrument that is open at both uh, both end like uh, recorder and uh, fluid. If you hear open, 
ended. Okay, let's see the first harmonic, how it looks. Here I have had tie note at both ends and one note in the middle. This is the first harmonic. Second harmonic, still I have anti notes. And here I have two notes here. Third harmonic, you see the frequency is increasing. Type. Closed at one end. Closed at one end. Let's see the first harmonic. Here's the the end that's the close. I have anti. Uh, I have notes, and the open end. I will have anti note maximum uh, displacement. You notice here I don't have second harmonic. I have third harmonic, and here fifth harmonic. Now here I have quarter. This is half lambda, so the length here it's a quarter lambda. So if I want to write a formula for uh, one end open and uh, one end closed, lambda n will equal 4L over n. So here I have 2L over n, here 4L over n. And frequency Fn, harmonic frequency, it will be V over 4L over n. n will go from 1, 3, 5, 7th, etc. The other thing also we I uh, would like to revise with you resonance. We did this experiment in, um, in the class to measure the speed of sound using resonance. If you have tuning fork and you hit the tuning fork and you get this tuning fork close to the pipe, I can change the length of a trapped air here inside by lowering, by raising and lowering up this pipe. The pipe is inserted inside water till I hear the sound. The sound that we hear uh, here, this is the loud sound we hear. This is the resonance. So when when the resonance happened, the resonance happened when the, when the vibration of uh, tuning fork matches the vibration, the vibration, the natural vibration of the air it trapped here. Resonance will happen. Resonance will happen. And this loud uh, sound, tuning fork forces the air column inside the reasoning tube to vibrate to its own natural resonance frequency and resonance is achieved. Let's go back to um, the exam question and read the question. We have here um, described two ways in which standing waves different, differ than traveling waves. We, we just uh, mentioned them. Standing wave co uh, co occurs if I have a confined medium, like um, um, you have a road or, um, or um, um, a violent fixed at both end. The rope is fixed at both end. Frequency energy is trapped. Is is not transfer uh, transfer as traveling wave. Energy can propagate in traveling wave, but stored in standing waves. It is possible to achieve resonance in a standing wave when two frequency matches. When the wave reflect off a boundary, and this can lead to uh, constructive and destructive interference, we will have nodes and anti nodes can form also in standing waves. Part B of the question: You have a vertical tube, open at both end, is completely immersed in a container of water, and we have here loud speaker above the container connected to a signal generator to emit sounds. So we have here a sound wave now. It will hit here, it will reach the boundary and it will reflect back, okay? We will have standing waves while that is formed in the tube. Outline how the stand wave forms in, um, in the tube, okay? So we have the wave will travel here from the loudspeaker. It will hit here. Here I will have a closed end, so definitely here. I will have nodes here. I could have, if I have only one sound, one loud uh, sound, or I can hear the sound twice. So I could have like two frequencies, not only one. I could have like this. Okay, so, but here at the surface, I should have node. And this one here at the top, because I have open end, 
I should have antinodes. nodes. OK, so the wave will travel into the tube, but then it will reflect from water because here I have fixed boundary. And then the wave will go back again and will reflect at the top end of the tube because the top end of the tube it's open. I have open boundary. This reflection of waves and interference of waves with, of course, the correct number of wavelength in the tube such that they are in phase with the waves traveling from the loudspeaker. If I increase the length of the tube, eventually we will have resonant frequency will match the frequency of the loudspeaker and we can we can know that by hearing the loud noise. So we will have resonance if the length of the tube is correct matching uh, with the frequency of the speaker with the frequency of the speaker. Now, uh, same question, uh, uh, last part of the question. We have the tube now is uh, raised uh, until the loudness of the second match reaches a maximum for a second time. For a second time. Draw the position of any nodes in the tube when the second maximum, second maximum is used, which is I have second frequency. So as I told you, this is I will have like this second frequency, it will be like that. Open at both end. Open, like this one close, sorry. Um, open at one end and close off the uh, other uh, end. This one, third harmonic, I have here node, node, and this one here, anti nodes. Anti nodes. So lambda, lambda will equal three over four, L three over four lambda. Three quarter lambda. Three quarter lambda. Okay, so I should have two nodes at the edges of the water and one toward uh, two thirds of the way up. Okay, between the first and the second position of maximum loudness. Maximum loudness. Maximum loudness where, where I have anti nodes. So it should be here. The distance, this distance from here till here is 0.37 meter. Speed of sound, V, 320 meter per second. OK, determine the frequency of the sound emitted by the loud speaker. The distance From here till here is lambda over two because this from here till here it's quarter lambda and quarter so lambda over two. So length L where I have maximum loudness is lambda over two. This length is 0.37 will equal lambda over two cross multiplication and find lambda. So lambda will to two times 0.37. And it will give me 0.74 meter. I need the frequency from this frequency. Velocity is lambda times f. So frequency will be v over lambda. Speed is 320 divided by 0.74, which will give me 432 hertz. That's it. Next, uh, next video, inshallah, we'll continue with uh, 